Good evening, cats, parents, chess teachers. In today's lesson, we'll study the game uh, from the current uh, women's world championship, uh, Li Tengji versus uh, Yu Wenjun. Now, after first six uh, games, uh, um, this is the only game in the round number five uh, where uh, Li Tengjin won the game against the current world champion, Zhu Wenjun. It is a middle game, strategical game. So let's learn how to plan in the middle game. This is the position. When we look at this position, let's start to analyze the king first. Both kings are quite safe, right? They are in a castling positions. So there are no problems with the kings. Um, when we pay attention to the chess pieces, you may see that uh, white queen is centralized on c4, right? It's quite active queen comparing to the black queen on e7. And um, perhaps the most important here is this bishop on b8. It is uh, not really doing very well here, right? So the move that white plays here is pawn to b4 right very very nice move and now black uh ruptured on b4 and then played bishop to d6 right to protect the pawn on c5 b5 bishop to d7 well what's going to be very important here is the square d5 and also the d5 right you can see that uh, white is building up here queen c3 preparing to move the knight to c4 bishop e6 and knight c4 pay attention to this knight a very strong powerful piece it is attacking on b6 it is also making pressure, of course, on the, on the bishop on d6, right? So an extremely powerful piece. Bishop takes. Queen takes. Now, white has an advantage of two bishops. And the d file is under the control. The d5 square um, is going to become uh, quite weak. Knight e8. Black is transferring this knight, and look at this now. Bishop to b3, very important move, because after knight c7, white is coming back to, to c2, and it is ready to trade the bishop for the knight. So after knight d6, white first put bishop d5 to attack the rook and to move the rook, and then captured on e6. Now, you may ask yourself, what is the reason for this capturing? Well, if the knight can jump to d4, then the knight is a very powerful piece. You will have to remove that knight with a bishop. So white would rather trade this way. And now pay attention to this an amazing outpost. Right? So white moves the rook to d5. Right? The outpost is a stronghold on the chessboard. Right? From here. Uh, you can build up the game, right? There is so much energy in this place. And now, of course, rook d1, right? Supporting that rook on d5. So the game is uh, better for white in this moment because this uh, strategical idea, because of this outpost, right? But pay attention now. There will be a lot of nice moves, uh, uh, to learn uh, from this game. Rook a8, bishop to d2, king f8, bishop c3, a nice move attacking the, the, the pawn on e5, f6, and queen b3, right, threatening to play rook d8, check, and then taking the queen on e6. So black plays queen c8, well, queen the c4 
because black doesn't want to give any chance. He doesn't want to allow, uh, I'm sorry, white doesn't want to allow the move c4 and then open up the bishop, right? So white plays queen c4. Wonderful. Look at the strategy on the white color, right? That's, that's, that's what we need to learn from this game. Now, queen e8 and g3. Queen c8, the pawn is attacked, right? King g2, right? So basically, white is improving every piece, including the king. Queen e8, and now h4. Why is this move important? Well, um, sometimes you can even play h5, right? And then uh, make this pawn back for pawn, right? In some end games, that would be very important, right? So that's why black plays h5. And uh, here we have bishop to d2. And look at this next move, rook b8, f4, right? This is a key move, a very important move if you want to win the game. With this move, you are making a pressure on the pawn to e5. You are opening up the game. And uh, now all the white pieces are getting into the game. Bishop f4, very active bishop. Um, black king is not safe anymore. Rook b7, queen e2. Pawn on h5 is attacked, right? So white wants to capture rook h5, g6, and another important move, e5. Excellent, right? White is opening up the game because white pieces are very active comparing to the black pieces that are quite passive in defensive positions. And you may notice that king is really not safe anymore. Queen a8, queen f3, right? Blocking this diagonal, not allowing any kind of uh, tricks. f5 and rook d7. Of course, the, the, the pin, right? So rook goes to a7 to protect the queen. Here we have a trade, and then uh, pawn to e6. Rook takes. Now, white is still winning this game because uh, the black king is not in a good position. White rook is very active, and also there is a pawn on e6 that is quite advanced. Bishop much better than a black bishop. Right now, yes, there is this pass pawn, but uh, white controls that pawn nicely and can put the rook from behind. Rook b7, rook takes on b6, and here after rook c6, uh, of course, that pawn is controlled. Bishop d8, look at this one, b6, very nice, like white wants to push b7. I check, rook b2, and here on there is a trade, rook, rook d8, white, white is now a piece up. And uh, of course, uh, game is uh, the game is finished, right? But uh, they still play a couple of moves. Uh, white is clearly better a piece up, right? Two, two pawns for a bishop, but the problem is uh, the pawns are weak. So this pawn is, is going to be taken. And after king c3, you can see that now, yeah, not much that black can do. Trade and uh, the game is, the game is um, pretty much finished. After rook e7, what do you want to do? You want to trade the pieces. When you are piece up, you want to trade the pieces. It's easy to protect your own pawns, right? You come back to, to, to g5, to f4, and uh, and of course here after uh, after this move, black resigned the game, right? A wonderful strategical uh, game. Um, there is much to learn from this game, and I think the most important is uh, that we learn about uh, the strategy on the d file here. Uh, so, so this is really an important position to remember, right? Remember a, a rook like this and then uh, supporting your rook 
right on the D file. Uh, remember how outpost is very important because from the outpost you can build up the game. And uh, I think it was very important also to uh, to remember this move F4, right? This is a really cool move here because this move is opening up the game and because the white pieces are uh, uh, stronger in a better positions, open game is in the white's favor, right? So that's what we need to remember here. I like also E5 move. That's really a cool move, right? Crushing the position. Right, that's what we learned from this game. I hope you enjoyed this uh, lecture on the middle game and on the strategy. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.